Hi everyone, welcome back to Zenova. In this video, I would like to introduce you to a new tool in the Zenova platform, and the tool is Principal Component Analysis. So I'm going to scroll down to where the portfolio is located in the grid, and you'll see a new feature here called PC Analysis, which stands for Principal Component Analysis. Before I actually calculate uh, principal component analysis for this portfolio, let's look at the help menu and see exactly how principal component analysis is described. So if we look in here, we can see PC analysis, and it gives the definition of what principal component analysis is. And basically, it is a statistical technique using uh, it's using the correlation matrix to analyze the interrelationships between a large number of variables and to explain them in terms of a smaller set of variables. And those variables are called principal components. Using the correlation matrix for the Stockwatch portfolio, eigenvalues and eigenvectors are calculated, which imply corresponding principal components, the output is as follows. So you'll initially get your principal component coefficients, which are explained here, your total variance, which is also explained in this help menu, your E value or eigenvalue, which you want to look at uh, the ones with the highest eigenvalues as far as the principal components, percent of variance, which ones have the highest percent of variance, and the, the cumulative effect of, uh, of the variance against for each principal component, and then it's also plotted out. So in a nutshell, principal component analysis to taking a large set of data and trying to bring that down to a more manageable set of data uh, that you can use to find uh, important information from the original data set. So let's actually do it. So initially, uh, you would set up and select whatever portfolio you want to look at in the portfolio dropdown, and you can create as many portfolios as you would like. Once it loads up, you can look at, if you want, the original correlation matrix and calculate it here. And now we're going to take this correlation matrix as input and use principal component analysis. And there it is. So now you can see the relationship of the principal components against the underlying stocks in that portfolio. And here, using the eigenvectors, it can tell you it can tell you what has uh, the most uh, uh, correlation to the actual principal components. We used a threshold of 0.3, so we won't look at anything below 0.3. For the eigenvalue, we can see that um, there are nine stocks, so there are nine principal components, and the highest eigenvalue of 4.8027 for the first principal component re represents 53.36% of the variance, and the next one represents 19.43 for a total cumulative value of 72.79. Anything under one for an eigenvalue is sort of just grayed out and discarded because it's not important. So this can tell you what's really driving your portfolio as far as the variance is concerned to your principal components. And again, without having to look at a major cor correlation matrix, we can just bring it down to principal components, eigenvalues, and eigenvectors. Thank you.